on the mysterious island in Järvsö, often covered in thick cold mist during early mornings, called Church Island, stands the runestone of Järvsö, believed to have been erected a thousand years ago, around 1025 and 1050. It stands by the church which was built in 1838, but before that there were an old stone church located at the same place, dated back to around the 13th century. Right next to the church is Helberg, whose name suggests that the place before the Christian era was probably also a pagan place of worship. There have been grave mounds found in and around the town of Jerusalem as well. The rune stones stand tall at 2.6 meters high or 8.5 feet. The rune stone in Jerusalem is considered a bit strange for several reasons. It has an almost human-like shape with what looks like arms, a body and a head with a high hat. The rune stone mentions three generations and among the names we can especially notice that there are also a woman's name, which is considered rare. The rune stone inscription says Unulv and Fjolvar erected this stone after Jure, his father, Rudolf's son and after Harlow, his mother, Fjolvar's daughter at Vitgudstad. In Helsingland County there are 19 known rune stones. One of them is this one on Church Island in Järvsö. It stands between the church tower and the rectory and it's in its original place, right where it was erected a thousand years ago. Rune stones have never served as tombstones, but more as a lavish memorial to people of economic and social significance in a rural area. The stones were erected to be seen. They were therefore placed at important roads, road junctions, burial grounds and courthouses. The church island where the stone is erected has always been an important place. Along the 954 meter long island the road went in all direction. It even mentions Norway and Dalarna county. There were two stone coffin bridges here and it is believed to have been an important trading place both during pre-christian and recent times. The rune stone in Järvsö shows signs of both the pagan and Christian world with its dragon loop and its Christian cross. That suggests the turning point when Christianity was introduced but not fully adapted. The rune stone is located on a property where people are living but is also considered public domain. No permits are needed to visit the rune stone but as it is on a property it is customary not to disturb the residents. Do you want more videos like this where I tell the story of viking times or medieval times or historic times? in and around the town of Järvsö. Let me know in the comments and uh, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I upload the next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.